So I thought I'd show a little bit of me working on my comic book. Um, this is my rough sketch for a page. Kind of got the layout. And then working on the panels here. So I figured I'd show a little bit of this. Maybe see if anyone's interested in seeing how this goes. So, I have the main character doing the threatening. I've got the guy responding to the threat. So that's what I'm going to try to work on now. Start with the eyes. I've been watching a lot of anime, so it's actually a little bit harder to draw eyes than it used to be. Because I keep trying to do anime eyes. Try to keep them a little bit more in the style I go with normally. That's my dog in the background, who I've started to wake up. <laughs> She'll probably attack me pretty soon. Hoskai. Yes, I know. Let me tell you, it is hard drawing when you have a big old dog wanting attention from you. Especially when she's a cutie. This is one of the reasons it takes me a while to do my stuff, but by no means the main reason. So, though I had a close-up of the eyes before, I think it might get a little confusing with whose eyes are they. So I'm pulling the face back a little bit. I'm just kind of sketching it out. Got to put the full eyes in. Try to show the terror. More of the iris you see usually indicates more of a wide-eyed, you know, that's kind of why it's called that, fear. Kind of try a little bit more rounded. So this is just kind of the sketching in everything phase. Get a little bit of the hair going there. I know the perspective's weird because of how I'm holding the camera. My nose isn't exactly too great. So Got a little bit of the layout in there. Now it's time to clean it up a bit and add some shadows. Since this is going to be inked, I don't need to put in full detail, but enough to give myself a head start for when I do do the inking. Forgot bigger pupils for fright. Hook that down as much. Should make them a 
little bit wider. Put a few more lines in to try to make it more expressive. Oh, that was a great angle. I have no idea if this is entertaining for every, anybody, but I thought I'd have it just to show what I go through to do this sort of stuff, in case anyone's ever interested. You should probably remember that people have ears and put the ears in. And then the, the guy's got long hair, so I gotta put some of that in. I have a hard time with hair, the uh, the fluid nature of it. I either make it too two lines and not clumpy enough, or too clumpy. It's one of the many many things I need to work on. So now that I've got most of this in, I can start working on the uh, the shadows. Hopefully that'll add some depth so it gets a little more fear look going. Probably want to actually see what I'm doing if you're watching this video, don't you? Try to get my hand out of the frame there. While also trying not to draw based on the video because that is confusing the hell out of me right now. Sure, digital artists wouldn't have a problem with that. They're used to looking at a screen not connected to a page. And maybe a little, little emphasis on the cheekbone there. So there's a panel, and I'll uh, show some inking next time. Bye.